back tomorrow and during the weekend. Um, I'll start by introducing the factory of art and design. It's a production space for art, for professional artists, um, and we have more than 50 studios with more than 70 local artists working here. And then we have the production space downstairs, uh, which we use for large-scale production and a couple of annual big uh, open public things like the fair during the weekend, uh, the LCBH, and then we have all the studios in there as well. And then we have lots of smaller events during the year as well. But usually the house is actually not a public space because it's a working space for professional artists and designers. Um, yeah. And we have the residence programs, which we greatly benefit from uh, because we have this critical mass of professional local artists here. It's actually very important to have artists from the outside as well, so we appreciate that very much. And it keeps sort of uh, that keeps uh, the whole ambience good, and of course, it's an inspiring atmosphere to thrive in professionally as an artist. So we have uh, different residency programs. At the moment, we have Fair, which welcomes artists and curators from the Northern Baltic countries. And then we have Worldwide Air, uh, which welcomes the artists from all over the world. And then we are hoping to establish a new program as well. But uh, we've been running many different programs for almost 10 years now. Mm -hmm. Then we have outreach programs as well, which is education for all um, the schools in the area, in the larger Copenhagen area as well, which is run by the artists from Copenhagen. Uh, and uh, what else do we have? I think that's it. That's mm -hmm. it for a welcome. Yeah. What's your idea? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, we are very happy being here. We are guests, um, just as basically everybody around the table. And uh, the factory has been a really great collaborating partner in, in what they now name Worldwide Air Program, which you are a part of. Um, we're actually doing two things at one time right now. We have in Rådevogn, which is the cur curatorial office that I run together with my team. We're working really hard downstairs. Um, we've been doing an art lab series from just starting January this year together with the CKU that Maria represents. Um, CKU is a Center for Cultural Development and they've been sort of uh, working with art and culture all over the world. Um, they have been a partner for Rodon for many years. Uh, unfortunately, they're closing down. Our government do not want to support that kind of cultural activities abroad. They want to focus more on local, uh, the local scene, which of course is a pity. Still, there's a lot of um, opportunities and a lot of good institutions, amongst others, the factory, who are still working, and Rodon also, of course, working with artists uh, based internationally all over the world. Um, for us, I guess, it's not so much about um, development, it's more about what creativity actually can um, supply us with in everyday life and how it can actually change society as well. So in that sense, of course, no governmental um, cut of, of, of support can stop us in what we do because uh, we find creativity as, as, as one of the roots of, of our uh, our being and a part, very very important part of society. Um, but I'm so happy having you all here. Uh, I visited Jetiwanki Art Factory in November with the Art Lab and the CKU support. We were the people visiting and was we are all really amazed about the the interesting work that Jetiwanki Art Factory actually produces in the local environment. It's very important, um, and I was very inspired. And hence, I wanted to invite Jetiwanki Art Factory for this opportunity to be in Denmark and to meet the artist here and be a part of the factory, but also being part of the fair, which has a sort of broader um, public. yeah public than than the art lab have, have, has because the art lab has been about exchanging knowledge, not so much about the public, but exchanging one to one, developing. And we have the last art lab in November at another space called One Big Home, and we had the first one in, in our Royal Academy of Fine Arts. Um, so what we actually have been trying to do with this um, fair is uh, create situations where hopefully a lot of people will come and be a part of different creative situations. Amongst them, Jetiwanki, uh, and there will be workshops uh, with clay 
Um, and there will be, of course, a lot of other things that people can you know, dwell into and be a part of. And it's more about participation than it's about exhibiting. Um, this is very important to us for the, within this fair. So it's less about selling, but more about becoming more clever and how to um, deal with everyday uh, life in, in new men's. And I think Jetty Wanky Art Factory actually uh, are a really good example of how to change everyday life from a critical situation that you had in the city to another kind of identity. Uh, but where, where, where you're becoming proud of, of what you're actually able to do uh, within a local environment with the materials that you have and to transform them into something that could change the future actually. Um, yeah, I think that's in short what I, uh, what I <laughs> would share with you. Um, and of course I, mean, and I look forward to seeing you all. We have like a really intense uh, program with a lot of different talks and walks and, and for us it's important that people visiting this place will visit the factory but will also visit the artist but will also visit the local environment here. It's a very complex situation actually so not to stay within the house. I want, I mean, we really want people to go out in the neighborhood and meet local people and a lot of local people ha has been involved and will take you by the hand and actually give you tours in, in their daily life and their perspective. And I think that is something that is really important within the art scene as well, that we inspire not just within the artistic uh, realm, but within everyday life. Hmm? Maybe I will. Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank you to everyone who put their effort and invite me and helping us during Copenhagen Art Fair. And together with my family, representing the Tiwani Art Factory, also we would appreci appreciate that we will have opportunity to come with uh, the Indonesian Agency for Creative Economy, the representation by one of the deputy, uh, and also our Indonesian Embassy, representation by Ms. Rita. And I think it's, we hope it can bring some great cooperation in the best future, so maybe we would like to introduce the yeah. creative economy initiative. Yeah. Thank you very much. So my name is Louis Brownlee. I'm uh, the representative officer of the Indonesian government for the creative economy. So I'm really glad to hear about the collaboration and I would like to thank for all the participants in this collaboration. I hope that this collaboration can be success and can be continued in the future. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will fully support for the for this collaboration and we'll try to find the other potential collaboration that might be conducted in the future. So I also would like to thank for the Indonesian Embassy for the full support uh, of this collaboration. So thank you very much. So, uh, we will see you in Indonesia for the next collaboration. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. And maybe Mr. Rika with some little bit, please. For me personally, we are happy, of course, that Jati Wani represent Indonesia for the Art Creative One. So good luck for them <laughs> and for the collaboration between Indonesia and uh, Denmark. Mm. That's for me. Mm. Thank you. Okay. So, do you think what the possibility of our collaboration will be? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Can you talk a little bit about more about there? So far, continuing until the end of 2017, but could be extended certainly. Mm -hmm. And uh, which is the, the main force of the program is that it actually has no geographical boundaries, uh, which is very, very good for us to have. Which means that we can invite artists and make open calls for all artists in the world. Basically, so be definitely interested in the collaboration. That would uh, ensure more artists from Indonesia to work in Denmark to stay here and to, to 
to inspire the Danish art scene. Yeah. And maybe it could even be also interesting for, I'm thinking, for so many artists here in the house, also to, to have the other way around, having the, like exchanging artists to come here and, and work here, but also having artists from here coming to, to Indonesia. Yeah. And, and because I think you can learn a lot by the ways that you work, and it's quite different structures than here. Yeah. Uh, I myself were lucky enough to, to experience that, and I think that will be rewarding for a lot of other uh, artists and creative souls as well. So if this is the possibility, mm -hmm. I would kindly support uh, also trying to to make it um, mm -hmm. possible mm -hmm. maybe together with the factory. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah. And now I think for make uh, our cooperation more more official or more interesting. Maybe I think uh, in here <coughs> we can read it some. We prepare some declaration of our collaboration, and maybe we can read it uh, in one of uh, representation uh, from both sides, I think, mm -hmm. because it, they are in two language, in Indonesian language and in, in English language. So maybe this uh, from Indonesian translation, maybe we can read it by Mr. Boy. Hmm? Yeah. Can read it maybe you can read it this uh, part. Read it yeah. okay. okay, and after that you read it the the English part. Hmm? Uh, and after that we can sign it together. Hmm? And after that <coughs> uh, because we bring a clay from Jatiwang hmm. and also we have a clay from Copenhagen. And we had we already made a clay flute from that uh, clay and also a, a clay flute from mixing clay. Mm -hmm. So maybe after sign it, we can make some symbolic uh, agreement to humming the clay flute mm -hmm. together. You have to teach us how to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be happy. Yeah. 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 I tried it already in Jetty Monkey, but we'll also then the flute. Klienialisme lahir dengan semangat sepenuh hati dari ikar Jatiwangi untuk mengolah tanah dengan lebih bermartabat. Dengan rahmat Tuhan Yang Maha Esa, kami putra dan putri Jatiwangi menyatakan deklarasi klienialisme Jatiwangi Kota Tagang. Klienialisme berupa yang mendesain klien dengan segala kekasannya sebagai sebuah identitas wilayah yang keren dan bersaja, berkenaan untuk generasi muda. Kualisme bukan untuk penguasaan terhadap suatu wilayah, tetapi kerjasama antara wilayah dan negara. Kualisme akan diimplementasikan dalam bagian pertukaran program dan upaya pengembangan identitas wilayah berdasarkan seni budaya. Kualisme adalah kerjasama seni budaya bilateral antara Jatiwangi dan Kopenhagen. Yang dalam hal ini Jatiwangi Art Factory dan didukung oleh Beklar dan Kepenakan diwakilkan oleh organisasi Radrum dan The Factory of Art and Design. Terima kasih. Clayalism is inspired by the wholehearted and full spirit of Jatiwangi Pledge that encouraged people to elevate earth exploration with dignity. By the grace of God, we, the youth of Jatiwangi State, Jatiwangi Copenhagen Clayalism Declaration. Clayalism is an effort to redesign clay with all its particularities as a cool yet humble identity of distinct uh, district, <laughs> especially for the youth. Clearism is not an effort to occupy land nor region. It is instead an act towards collaborative effort between district and countries. Clearism will be implemented in a variety exchange program that aims to develop the district's uh, identity with art and culture, cultural based. 
Realism is a bilateral agreement for art and culture between Jatiwangi and Copenhagen, which is Jatiwangi Art Factory and supported by the Indonesian Agency for Creative Economy, BICRA, and Copenhagen is represented by Rådrum and the Factory of Art and Design. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we sign. Yes. Yes. This is the no sign. No sign. Okay. Sign. Yes. You sign. Close up. Something else. What else do you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 